The script for Saw X was originally written to take place in Prague, with the idea being that we would shoot in Bulgaria. Um, and for reasons not entirely creative, it was suggested that we go to Mexico. And as soon as I heard that, I said, money aside, I think that would be the very best place we could possibly shoot and set this story because there's it's so unexpected and there's so much sort of strange history to Mexico City with the, the Aztecs and Cortez and, and all that. And, and just the fact that it is such a, such a crazy place. Um, I really thought not only do we shoot there, but we set it there and we say that this is where we're setting it. And, um, you know, I think, I think it was a fantastic choice. I wanted these traps to, to work more mechanically in real life than we've ever done before. We've had to, uh, frankly, use a lot of editing trickery and, and uh, digital uh, visual effects in order to, to overcome the shortcomings that we had on, on production. So for this one, I'm like, let's, let's really make what we're going to shoot and make it work on screen. So our production designer, Anthony Stabley, who uh, is one of the most enthusiastic people I've ever met in my life, he absolutely was for that and he sought out a team among the crew members in uh, in Mexico City that that could really pull it off and that's not to say that everything worked perfectly cuz cuz it didn't and as is often the case there are a lot of wires and uh people hidden in things that are operating things finding a prosthetics team that that could take the actors that um you know we'd cast or were about to cast and then form the parts of their bodies using artificial materials and and getting it onto the set and operating it uh, on the day when we needed it and have things go right and if possible give us second chances which often wasn't possible but um we we, we really had trouble at first and the 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 production stumbled a bit because uh, it turns out that we needed some of these actors six weeks in advance in order for them to be cast and then for the parts to be prepared and then for us to be able to rehearse with the parts before we actually shot. Saw 6, the first one that I directed, was the last one to be shot on 35 millimeter film and I'm really glad that it was, even though it's, it's hard to shoot on film. It's, it's a lot more stressful than digital, but uh, it, there, there is great value in the texture that you get uh, from, from film. And once we did Saw 3D, which was shot at, uh, at 2K res on a digital camera, it, we, we started to lose something. And then the subsequent Saw films were, were also digital. And maybe there was a little bit of, uh, of filmish grain added afterward, but, but frankly, not a lot in those films. Um, when I met Nick uh, Matthews, the cinematographer and first camera operator for this movie, we both agreed that, that there was something lost um, after Saw 6 and that we wanted to bring it back. And even though we shot on, on digital, we lit it in a way that we thought emulated the look of the earlier films. And, and also we dirtied it up a bit in post-production.